Willkommen zurück zu einer neuen Folge von Max Payne 3. Wir haben noch ein paar böse, böse, böse Wichte zu erledigen. Vor allem ihn hier. Hat sie ordentlich verschanzt, der Kollege. That looked like the way up, but it was locked. I had to find a switch. Ja, den zum Beispiel. Aber erstmal noch umschauen. There was probably a control console behind the desk. Mhm. Höchstwahrscheinlich. Aber wer weiß, was wir hier noch alles haben. It was nice to see a friendly face in Panama. Ja, zumindest mal noch ein paar Painkiller. Sehr gut. Gut, dann hätten wir glaube ich hier alles. Dann drücken wir mal das Knöpfchen. Es öffnet sich und dahinter. Gegner. Hm, dann habe ich die ein bisschen zu spät gesehen. So, Ohrenschützer wären vielleicht nett. Kommst du? Sehr schön. So, die tauschen wir mal gerade aus. Und dann geht es hier aber mal weiter. Könnt mal Knöpfchen drücken. Wir könnten aber auch gucken, was da unten noch ist. Ein weiterer Waffenteil. Sehr gut. Und noch jemand, der auf uns schießt. Von dort. Na gut, schnappen wir uns mal. Hätte ich, glaube ich, springen sollen. Er hat uns auch ordentlich erwischt, der Kollege. Ja. Haben wir irgendeine schöne Vorstellung, die gezeigt wird. Hm. War das eine Anleitung für das Schiff? Scheint ja die Yacht zu sein. Ja gut, dann äh, passt das mit dem Schwanken vielleicht auch. Da ist zu. Da ist auch zu. Also nichts mit Toilettenpause. So, dann landen wir mal. Und auf ein neues. Ah, da sind sie. Nächster bitte. Danke. Gut, hier ist leider auch nichts zum Anschauen. I 
was letting myself get distracted from the task at hand. Na gut, dann müssen wir erst noch ein paar Leute hier umlegen. Dann können wir jetzt gucken. Oh, die Hand ist geschossen. So, dann jetzt mal. I blocked out all my questions. All I thought about was getting the Daphne Bernstein before it was too late. Americans had a long and checkered history of involvement in Panama. This was my sorry chapter, for what it's worth. Hm, da hat er recht. Gut, auch hier nichts zu übersehen, meiner Meinung nach. Things would be like this. I should have jumped in that goddamn canal myself and swum my way back to New York. What do you think you were really doing in Panama? I was drinking. People died. Innocent people. Who do you think robbed you? I don't know. I was told it was people who disliked Daphne Bernstein. Something about an unpleasant divorce. Her ex-husband worked on Wall Street. Do you think he has easy access to Panamanian death squads? Guess I didn't really think about it. You were smuggling something, weren't you? No, no, no. I mean, I didn't realize it at the time. I, I didn't think too much about it, but yes, Marcelo did drive off with something. I don't know what. I didn't see him until we got to Brazil a week or so later. I think it was money. I think Marcelo and Victor have a friendly banker there in Panama. Your little cruise was to deliver the cash to him because there it's easier to launder. But I thought the Broncos were rich. Rodrigo's rich. The other two, they live well, but they don't have real money. Victor's campaigns were always financed by his brother. That is the way among certain rich families there. The eldest brother is the king. You know, he gets everything. The other two, not so much. And now Rodrigo's dead. Exactly. And Marcelo, too. It's an awful tragedy for Victor, huh? A man running on a law and order ticket, you know, whose brothers have both been killed in such terrible circumstances. A true patriot. What about Marcelo? Marcelo. Marcelo was an idiot. Were this true, I certainly don't believe he could possibly have known about it. But I do believe some other scheme, you know, some other bullshit. Whatever that cash was, Victor could have talked him into something. I don't know yet. And Passos? Raul Passos is a bum ex-cop. Failed in America. Failed in Sao Paulo. He was surrounded by more money and more poverty than his tiny little head can handle. You think guys like that can't be bought? No, but if... But nothing. Probably not a bad guy. He's just a man caught in the crossfire of a very rich family. What about me? You. You're the fall guy. The American. Running around, acting like the action hero. Killing lots of people. <laughs> You're a stroke of genius. That ain't how it is. You were an angry ex-cop. You were sitting in a bar with a history of violence and a history of a bad temper. You were perfect. Me and Passos went to the academy together. Did you? I don't fucking know. <clears throat> okay, let's take a drive, Max. You want to do some good? Hmm? You want to get yourself killed in a good cause? Then I need you to check something out for me. Like what? 
that incident at the favela today. Now, some of my officers say a bus drove off some captives. They did, I saw it. But no captives were ever booked. They probably handed them off to the paramilitary death squads, the, uh... Casa Preto? Right. Who did? I don't know, the cops. The other cops, the cops who shoot on sight. The Ufe. Right. Max, you see that building there? The Imperial Palace Hotel. Yeah, that's what it says. People go in there, in large groups, under armed guard. But it isn't a police station, and no one comes out of there. Why don't you just go in and bust the joint, get a warrant? I'm only a cop, Max. <laughs> so you keep saying. <sighs> Time to find out what was going on here. I didn't fancy booking myself in the presidential suite, so went looking for the basement. I wasn't too excited about the acoustics in this place. A couple of gunshots would sound like I'd walked in here with a goddamn marching band. It wasn't pretty, but I guess none of what was about to happen was gonna be. It was the question you? I kept on asking myself. How could I have been so blind? I was convinced the Broncos had gotten the wrong man for the job, but maybe De Silva was right. I was the stooge. The bad joke everybody got but me. Na, dann schauen wir doch mal. Selbstgemachter Schalldämpfer. Kann ja nur gut werden. Okay, da geht es erstmal nicht weiter. Ich glaube, die zwei vernichten hier gerade Beweise. Gar nicht mal so nett. Either those guys wheeled their trash out on stretchers or something was seriously wrong here. <lacht> so, dann schauen wir doch mal. Muss hier irgendwas mitnehmen? Painkiller? Call it evidence for De Silva. Ufe. Was there anything they didn't have a grubby hand in? A few days earlier, I'd have called it a coincidence, but I'd written off too many of those already. Hm, da hat er recht. Gut, hier ist zu. Dann geht's mal hier weiter. The Imperial Palace Hotel was a five-star bona fide shithole. I needed to find out why guests were checking in by the bus load and checking out by the bag load. Maybe the service would be better upstairs. Gut, ähm, hier gibt es wohl auch noch nichts großartig zu entdecken. Okay, você não está fazendo nada, estou fazendo tudo sozinho. 
Agora que eu não tô pegando nada, rapaz. Ah! Flammenwerfer, äh, Raketenwerfer gefunden. Nett. Ich glaube, ich bleibe mal noch bei meiner Schallgedämpften. Vielleicht hätte ich auch einfach länger warten müssen, keine Ahnung. Der kann mich eigentlich nicht gesehen haben hier. angeschossen, dann kommt noch mal hoch. Ja, die halten halt echt eine ganze Menge aus, wenn wir den halt auf die Brust schießen. Gut, das wär's dann hier mal fürs Erste. weil keine Muni mehr. Ja gut, komm dann. Bring mich mal um. Holen wir uns gleich meine andere Waffe da. Wir versuchen das hier nochmal lautlos. Okay. Ich will das mal versuchen. Ach, vielleicht bleibe ich einfach mal hier und warte, bis der hier irgendwo angekommen ist. Kann ich mich hier irgendwo verstecken? Hier, nee, nicht wirklich. Hier kann ich mich verstecken. Nein, kann ich nicht. Ne, es scheint echt nicht zu gehen. Dann durchladen und hier gleich durchballern.
So, aufgeräumt. Hinten war ja nichts mehr. Dann laden wir durch und können so, äh, mal die Folge hier beenden. Danke fürs Zuschauen. Ich hoffe, ihr hattet Spaß und bis zum nächsten Mal. Macht's gut und ciao, ciao.